Hi guys, this is Bhaskar Berry here and in the last video you have seen how to read a CSV file through s using a Spark and in this video we will be seeing how to write to a CSV or any other text files in using a Spark shell ok mm -hmm. and uh, yeah this is just now I opened the Spark shell last time we have seen a file uh, a test file student which we have been reading to a, a data frame or data set Mm, okay, let me write a uh, backup of this data set. So we have uh, something last time we did was uh, mm, something like this. We read the, um, if you see here, we read the CSV file from Spark read and in from this path with the header option to that into a student. So let me uh, run this command again to keep the data set sorry uh, to keep the data in the data frame so as you can see that the data is in the data frame format here it's nothing but student okay mm, I'll show you how to write this uh, uh, this data frame student into a text file CSV okay let me uh, show you that spark so we don't want to use spark so we'll do give operations on student because it's already stored in a student data frame so what are the operations we have on the student let me uh, show you so you can see here we have option like um, write so using this I'll be writing right to what can I write? so let us see the two options which we have here so we have your uh, like write into text file or a CSV but for timing I'll be using a CSV file here so let us write into CSV and give us the path where we are going to load into the file so I'll give the same path which I have been using for test files so test files let me give the name to a folder like uh, student copy okay let me uh, enter see if any errors occur so it did not give anything for me so let us check in the folder here so you can see a folder created with a student copy but where is the file okay you can see her file which is created in the CSV format but I don't see any header if you see in the um, If you see in the data frame, student dot show, you can see that there is a ID name age, but if you see here, there is no header in this column. So how to get that header? So let me go again here. So we have one more option called uh, we had a uh, one more in the data frame. You can apply option. So I'm going to use that option here to say that we have a header. I'm going to run that again but this time it throws an error for me saying that the folder already exists so let me delete the folder and run the copy again so it has run it so now we can see the file with the header in that okay the previous file doesn't add header but this file has a header in it but if you see that we have an error also here saying that the student copy already exists how to resolve such errors how do we want to override that so to want when you want to override that we have a options called here dot so if you see the options from spark we have something called uh, mode here using this we can write override that so let me use that mode dot copy this path again okay. so click on that so we did not get any error there see again I am doing the same thing but I did not get any uh, student copy already exist here so if you see this the file there is no other file here it is just overwritten to the same file and we'll see the data in that so 
sorry let me uh, close this because that are all the other files okay if you see here again so it has overwritten and kept the uh, same data here okay so this is how we can um, read the data from the uh, any data frame or a data set and copy a local copy of that file or we don't not only csv we can even use JSONs or text or save as a tables in the data frame or in the hadoop itself okay there are several other options which we are going to look into in further videos of mine okay thank you please do subscribe my youtube channel